Hey y'all, it's DX Stampin' Sharon. Normally, I am live with you on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Central, but tonight, we're going to be doing a premiere. A premiere is going to allow me to chat with y'all. You know I always say I have FOMO, like I'm missing out on all the chatting. No, seriously, I am traveling, and so this was my way of being able to still bring you a fun idea and also still be able to chat with you during this premiere. I hope that you'll enjoy this concept. I don't know how often I will do this, but it sure does come in handy whenever I need to travel. We're going to be talking about the kissing technique, and I don't mean like kissing. We're gonna be kissing two stamps together, and this is an oldie but goodie technique, and I absolutely love it. I think it's fun. I think you could do it easily with a bold center, a, a bold type of stamp and then something else just to give it some uh, pattern. I wanna thank everyone for joining us tonight during the premiere. And I especially wanna thank y'all who are watching the replay. And I would love to hear your comments below. I would love to know what you think about the kissing technique, kissing stamping technique. And if you've ever tried it before, and if you haven't, are you gonna try it? All right, guys, let's get to um, our projects. And I can't wait. I can't wait to hear your comments in the chat box. Make sure you're logged into YouTube, by the way, if you're going to be chatting during tonight's premiere. And also make sure you're logged in if you are uh, watching the replay and you want to comment. If you're new to my channel, I do want to welcome you. I love having new subscribers. Um, I would love for you to subscribe below and then hit that notification bell. And hopefully you'll be notified when I go live, I do a premiere or I upload a video. So let's get started. We're gonna be learning about the kissing technique. This is an old but fun technique. And I wanna show you two different variations on how to do the kissing. As you can see, I've got some um, a scripty font on my leaf. So that's the kissing, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I am using Love of Leaves because I wanted solid images for my technique. Now I've got several cards to share, okay? But I wanna show you different ways to color your background when you are preparing for your kissing technique. First, we can use the blending brushes. I've got some ink pads. I've got Cajun Craze, Crush Curry, and Old Olive, okay? Very fallish colors, and I thought these would be good for my background. To me, this gives a softer background, and then I'm gonna show you something a little bit bolder. So first, we're gonna get the Cajun Craze, and I am gonna start off my paper. My leaf is pretty big. I probably don't need this big of a piece of basic white, but I'm just gonna go with it and just add some color. kind of blending all those colors together. Okay, so that's one way to do a background. Now let me show you another. We're gonna move away the blending brushes. We're gonna bring in the sponge daubers. These are just cute little things that go on your finger that have a little bit of sponge on them. You can find them on my website. Um, let's see what color this is. Okay, so this is going to be bolder colors, all right? 
Now, adding this much ink, you really need to make sure that you let this dry. If you don't let it dry, you're gonna have some issues. I'll share those issues with you. Basically, if you don't let it dry, the next step that we do, the we're gonna be using embossing powder, the clear embossing powder, and that powder is going to stick where we don't want it to. You do want to make sure that you're getting your colors close together. So there's no, no white spaces. So again, this is going to be bolder. You decide which look you prefer. I'm going to show you samples of bold and not so bold. Um, at the end of our card making. I don't know, I'm kind of a bold girl, so I like the bold. This would be great for even Christmas cards, not just fall, birthday cards, thank you cards. Um, I love making cards that gives you give you different ideas to use no matter the occasion. And if you love techniques, I think this is a fun one. A little bit more of this and like I said our leaf is not going to be this big however I'm going to show you samples of cards that I actually stamped all over instead of just like the one that I shared with you before we got started so you may want to do this and do your whole background like that green we need more green You could change from old olive to maybe garden green if you wanted darker. But you know, when the leaves are changing, there's not a whole lot of green there. So I went with the lighter. Okay, now we wanna make sure that that's good and dry before we do the next step. I'm actually gonna take my heat gun and make sure everything's good and dry. You can do the tissue test. Really rub that. Ah, no ink. We're good to go to the next step. So we're gonna stamp on this one. And I've got my the largest leaf. And I pulled out another stamp set. Very Versailles. I wanted those words right there. Look through your stash, find something that you can kiss your leaf with or whatever you're kissing, a tree, a flower. It can be anything. Guys, it does not have to be a leaf. I just chose these two stamp sets. Now, I am going to use my embossing buddy because I have it. If you don't have this little tool, you can get one on Amazon. So I'm going to ink up my leaf. With Versamark. Then I'm going to take my memento. And I'm going to ink up my words. And then I'm going to take my leaf stamp and I'm going to kiss. Mwah. And I'm going to pick it up and I can see right here on this leaf right here, I don't have much words. I'm just going to come down here to the bottom 
Just swap words everywhere. And then you just kind of pick the colors that you want. And I know you can see the words, but you can't really see my leaf, but you can see that it the words are the outline of the leaf. All right, we're gonna do it again on this one. Remembering to clean our, our leaf stamp in between because it still has some of that black on it. We try really hard around here in the studio not to muck up our Versamark pads, but you know what? It happens. Okay. So on this one, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I wanna share with you, like I said, you might want to do the whole thing. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to ink up our leaf. Ink up our words. Kiss those two together. Mwah. There we go. Again with that one leaf. And I'm just going to stamp right here. I'm going to change leaves because there's more leaves in that stamp set. We're going to do the same thing. Ink up our words. Now this leaf fits on there perfectly. And we're going to come up here. Now the Versamark ink does stay sticky for a while, so I'm really not in any rush to hurry up and get this done. Ink up this leaf. So it's just a matter of taking another image and kissing another stamp. Take one image, kiss the other stamp. Have a little tiny leaf here. And I'm just gonna kiss down here because I have another stamp that will fit. I have another leaf from that um, Love of Leaves stamp set. And we're gonna kiss up here. I cleaned that big leaf off again. I hope that you guys will try kissing because it's fun. Oh, by the way, if you Google kissing technique, you don't wanna Google that. You wanna Google kissing stamping technique because it's pretty funny what you come up with if you just put kissing in hmm yeah i knew i had done this a long time ago but you know sometimes you're like oh did i do this did, did we do that you know it's kind of hard to jog the old memory so <laughs> yeah you don't want to know what those people are doing on there all right, I'm gonna clean off a few leaves to do some more fillers. And then we'll go to the next step. So I have some blank spaces here, here, and here. So we're gonna ink up our leaf. Ink up our words. Come in here. And then let's
let's spin this around. I want to do one more right there. Sorry, guys. I said just a few more. Uh, let's see. I can do this little one. If you don't know if you have enough ink on this big stamp, just put some more memento on there. Just be safe. And then we're going to do this. Okay. Let's close everything up. And then... We're going to pour some clear emboss powder. And now you can start to see our leaves. Let's do it to this one. Oh, I wish Stampin' Up! still had these. They're so great. But you can always use like a coffee filter, cardstock that you fold in half, printer paper, whatever you need to use. All right. I see a little bit of embossing powder there. All right, time to heat set. Okay, now when it's all done, if you decide you wanna come back and add something else in here, you could. And then this one is very soft, very pastel-y because of the blends, okay? The blending brushes. So two totally different looks. Now let me show you finished cards. Okay, so we're going to put this card together and this is my ladder version that I did um, previously. And I did use the stitched leaves dies to cut out my leaf, um, just really quick. And I love that it's stitched, but you don't see the stitching on this part. You see it on the part that I cut away. But anyway, it's all good. Great set of leaves um, dies if you don't already have those. I am going to be using my crushed curry, but I did switch my card stock. So let's bring in my other cards. You're gonna see the difference between these two cards. One is really dark using the um, sponge daubers, and then this one is using the uh, blending brushes. So we're gonna put this card together. It's super quick, super easy. I do have some crushed curry this time. That is five and a half by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. I have two pieces of basic white that are both four inches by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of basic white that is three inches by three inches with my mat being uh, three and a quarter by three and a quarter and that is the Crush Curry. So first we're going to add our Let's see, let's do it this way. Um, yeah. Okay, so first we're gonna add our leaf to our um, basic white layer. And I'm just gonna use some liquid glue because there's lots of little bits here. Oh, that's too much glue, wipe that off. Kind of smear it around a little bit. Just gonna center this on our basic white. By the way, have y'all ever wondered, like, how does she know what size 
to um, make that layer. Let me just show you a trick. Let me show you my secret, because <laughs> I am not that smart. So originally I had my leaf on here, and I wanna say this block is like two and three quarters by two and a quarter, I don't know, it's kinda of odd, but I knew I wanted a square, so I just kinda of rounded it up after I measured my block. There you go, that's my secret. That's how I do my sentiment layers, everything, okay? All right, let's put these two layers together. Once you have created your uh, kissing por portion, and you know, I showed y'all how to color the background for my kissing card. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that. I, I don't know if I tried it or not, but you might be able to just stamp it straight onto colored cardstock, onto designer series paper, play with it. See what you come up with. Okay, so now we're going to add these two. Oh, I wanna put these on with dimensionals. Of course I do. I gotta have some personality. I don't know, tell me what you guys think about this premiere thing. It's the first time I've done it, so I'm not real sure how it's gonna work, but I am traveling. I am actually in the Dallas area um, this week, watching my granddaughters while my son and his wife, get this, are celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. I'm like, 20 years? Are you sure? That just seems a long time. <laughs> They're like, yes, mom, we're sure. All right, so let's bring in our, uh, we're gonna do our stamping now. So I'm gonna bring in this. Let's pick up all those dimensional pieces. And, you know, even though I'm not with y'all live, I am so glad that you're in my life. I am. I am, and it's, like I said, I've never done a premiere like this, so, um, you know, I kinda, the, my intro video, we just got right into it. Um, I'm excited to be chatting with y'all because I always have FOMO. I feel like I'm missing out. Michelle gets to have all the fun chatting, so this way I get to join Michelle and we'll both be chatting. Although, I don't know, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping this all works out. You know, best laid plans. I um, have to take my granddaughter to her football game. She is a cheerleader in high school. Oh my gosh, how is this possible? So it's just like, like when my kids were little, I'll be running kids around. So, okay guys, this is the lighter version done with the blending brushes. This is the darker version done with the sponge daubers. So again, different techniques, same concept of the kissing stamping technique. However, depending on how you color your background or what you stamp your leaves on, whether it's cardstock, uh, colored cardstock, designer series paper. So there you go. Let's talk more about what I did previously. So I already shared this one with the single leaf. Okay, and as you can tell, this one is a lot softer than this one. So you could come back in with different colored cardstock instead of um, the crushed curry, or no, Cajun craze that I used on this one, okay? But how about this? Okay, you can do a single leaf on the same idea, cut it out and pop it up with dimensionals and come up with that card. So background, darker. Um, I think on this one, I did pull in Mary Merlot. It doesn't matter what colors, whatever colors suit you. And then how about this one? Loved it, so fun. Okay, what stamp set is this from? Thinking, thanks, and peace. This is in the mini catalog. And sending thanks, I inked it up with the Mary Merlot ink pad, and then I used my stamp and write marker to just color my, um, is that wheat? <laughs> Whatever that little is right there, um, that little plant. And so when I first saw this stamp set, I was like, oh, Christmas. This is what I saw first, 
but sending thanks. Great thank you cards. Um, you could send it for Thanksgiving, you know, that kind of thing. So um, I think that's all the stamp sets I use. I always like to tell you guys which ones I use. So that, my friends, is the kissing technique. And I sure hope that you loved it. I will have a free download on my blog. Um, you can get to the blog below the video to download this technique if you want to. Um, and I hope that you will try it because it's so fun. Okay, guys, happy stamping, y'all.